Now, if you have a growing laser business and you find that your current gavel setup is not keeping up with production and you're considering even getting another laser because of all the demand that you have. Well, before you do that, make sure you check out this video because today we're going to talk about the Maxi Index X table. This is a movable table that you can connect to your existing laser and it's going to expand the footprint of how much you can engrave. Check this out. On today's UV laser or CO2 laser, can you engrave something this big? If the answer is no, then you'll want to watch this video because I'm going to share with you how you can increase your engravable area to something this big in your existing laser. And think about what it's going to do to your current production process. It's going to increase it in a magnitude that's going to blow your mind. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now this is a standard Galvo bed and I just wanted to give you a sense of the scale so you can understand the magnitude of what changes. If you're going to be engraving with the standard lens, this is the area that you're going to be able to work with. So you're going to be able to get three uh, little keychains like this engraved. If you're working with metal, this is the area that you're going to be working with. If you're working with wood, this is the area that you're working with. So if you're taking a cutting board, this is the area that you're going to be working with and you're going to have to move it around if you want to get more areas of the cutting board. So for example, if you had a cutting board the size of this area right here, which pretty much would be a standard cutting board, you would have to move the board around to get all of the areas that you want. And that's why many of us opt for a, like a 300 millimeter lens. Having a 300 millimeter lens means that you can cover this area. The problem is, is that if you want to do scale and if you want to do many engraves, then you're basically switching out the product um, in order to get all your products engraved, even with the larger lens area. Let me show you the difference. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Look at how large this engraveable area is. So the Maxi Index X table basically is going to give you this full area that makes it fully engraveable and it's compatible with Lightburn. It plugs into your rotary port and literally what ends up happening is this will be the first area that you'll be able to engrave and it will shift over to the next area shift over to the next area expanding your workspace traditionally if you wanted to expand your capability or your production line you'd have to get another laser this solution is going to allow you to again expand your production area produce more product at the same time without having to get another laser. At least it will delay you having to get another laser because this is going to get increased productivity. This is what I'm talking about. So with a uh, traditional laser, right, I'm going to be able to engrave four of these. Remember that, that engravable area? This is what I typically can do. Let me show you what happens when you have something this big. This is like crazy, crazy, crazy incredible. I'm going to slide this in. Right? It doesn't end there because now I'm going to slide in another one. And now I have all of these that I can engrave at the same time and I have more space. So I could literally load two and a half trays of bottle openers. And if I have a 300 millimeter lens, it would engrave all of these. Now I want you to think about what does that do to your overall production speed? Time is money. Less time means higher profit. It means also less time spent loading and unloading. If you have pens and you do a lot of pens, I'm going to show you something else too, but check this out. And for those of you who are counting, yeah, these are 10 rows, 10 items per row. So I'm engraving here 40 bottle openers and I'm doing that with one load. This is incredible. Now check this out. Traditionally, I see my friends, and I used to do this. Many get a rotary, something like this, where you can put pens. And basically what you'll have is maybe a dozen of these because you'll be loading your pens, aligning your pens, and putting it on your rotary. Check out this tray. How many pens do you think we have here? How many pens do you think I can engrave in one shot? So those of you who are fast counters, 60 pens, 60 pens. And I will guarantee you that I can load this tray a lot faster than I can load one of these because I use this as well. This is my choice. If I want to add another pen or if I want to put in a full tray, all I have to do is place my pen. I have a little guide that aligns all my pens and, and they're just on these trays and I'm engraving. The tray is moving back and forth um, as it's getting engraved and this is all there's to it. 
But again, you'll want to have the larger lens in order to do that. A 300 millimeter lens is going to cover this area for you, and it's going to cover it really nicely as the Maxi Index X table is moving your content around to give you that maximum engraved area. Now, this is the power of the index table. I have 16 erasers in each one of these jigs. And by the way, I could have another set of erasers and another set of erasers. But the whole point is we're going to have all of these engraved all at once, and you're going to see how fast it's going to engrave and how it's going to move from jig to jig to get all of these engraved. Now, I'm running this on the Comarker 10 watt UV with a 300 millimeter lens, which means it's going to cover this entire area and it's just going to engrave and move on to the next. Let's go ahead and get it started. Now using your index table, it's gonna be just slightly different than your standard workflow. Where typically you set up your items, you do your framing, and then you basically hit start in the laser area. In this case, you would be using repeat marking. So what I did is I defined this area as the area that I'm engraving as I would with any job that I'd be working. The difference is though, is I set a movement on the bed of I think it was like 220 millimeters. So what's gonna happen is the bed itself is going to move once it's done with this entire group of erasers, 220 millimeters, which results in the beginning of the next section. And I have it set up to do this twice. Now, if I had three eraser um, trays, as I only have two here, I would set it up three times and it would move from position to position to position. So literally what it's doing is it's looking at one section of erasers as a bed, but it's moving to the next section as the same using the same dimensions of the previous bed. It's, it's, it's a little bit different, but it's actually really cool and very simple once you have it down. Now that it's finished with this batch, watch what it's gonna do. It's gonna move on to the next one, and it's gonna continue to run. Now, one of the things I could do is, while this is running, I could actually work on this tray and fill in more, more erasers so that it can continue to move back and forth. This is what the power of an index table is to your workflow. It really, accelerates, expands, increases your throughput when it comes to engraving. If you are running to a point where you'd like to be able to engrave more and you're considering getting another laser before you do, I consider taking a look at an index table. This is going to expand again the actual performance of your existing laser, especially if you have a 300 millimeter lens. All right, we have 120 more to do. Now, before going through some other features of the table, I just wanted to show you another jig that we created. This is a massive jig that is, again, gonna allow you to engrave all these bottle openers, which are a common request for us, on this same table using the same 300 millimeter lens. And again, the index table is gonna move left to right, as you saw. But one of the things I really like about the table and the way that it's set up is that it has, I guess the way you could look at it is almost like virtual fencing. And Typically, when you're working with an engraving area, you put fences, right, to move things around and to lock things in place. Well, this solution has several fencing options. Uh, first, at the very top here, you'll notice that you have these sliders, and this allows you to pretty much adjust and create areas for engraving. So, for example, I've um, been working on some jigs and putting our logo on it. And what I could do is I could basically do this, right, and now I have this area fenced out. So if I'm putting another jig here to get our QR code on, all I have to do is just put it in place and I'm able to swap these out or put them in, in sequence, right? And again, create these virtual, uh, I would say jigs or placements for items that I need to engrave. And I could do that really quickly. Now they're not just limited to these, right? I wanna show you another one that's great for drinkware. I wanted to show you another option that you have with the index table that was just recently released when it comes to being able to place products on your table. Uh, we've seen this right now, and this allows you to basically create virtual fencing anywhere on the table. And it really creates a lot of flexibility for us as we're moving things around and we just wanna align things in place really quick. Now, what I like about this other solution is that this is really designed for drinkware. And so you have two of these, right? And they work anywhere in the slide. You can move them from left to right and have as many of them as, as the space permits, given the products that you're gonna be engraving. And remember, the goal here is that as the table moves, it gets right underneath the laser, it would engrave this area right here, or using, again, the curved feature from Lightburn, you'd be able to get um, a, maybe a wider area, depending on your laser type, but then continue to move on. And the cool thing about this is that all you're doing is just getting a product, putting it in place, and swapping it out. So you can see the actual speed that you're gonna get here. Now, this is very configurable as well. So at the very bottom, you can see this is what goes into the tracking system that you see here, or the tracks. 
And then what you have is adjustment to lock it in there and tighten it up. You also then have two areas where you can rush your drink here or here. And the cool thing about it is that if you are, let's say, working with a 40 ounce Stanley and the, you know, the back is going to be thinner than the front, you can go ahead and raise it so that you could get that as well. Now, anytime you're doing that, you're obviously going to want to make sure that you use a level to make sure that things are leveled before you start engraving. But I love the fact that I can actually configure this and look at how easy it is to move these around. So depending on the type of drink that I'm dealing with, this is really easy to move. And then again, if I'm working with this kind of cup, and I want to move this forward, all I have to do is release some of the screws on the side. And we'll do that really quick. So you can see, just remove it over here. This will come up. I just have to find, you know, what's the area that I'd like. And you'll notice that the top here is too high. So what I'll do here is bring this a little bit closer. I'll raise, maybe get a level like this, put the level here, raise it until I find my, uh, my, my point where this needs to rest. So we'll go ahead and loosen this screw. And once I see that bubble fall in place, which is about right there, I'll tighten it in place. All right. So I got my bubble OK. Now I'm ready to engrave. And I can set up, again, six, seven, eight, nine, a dozen, depending on how wide the product is. And it would move across my index table with ease. Now, in addition to leveraging the repeat marking function where you can engrave batches like this, where you have full trays of items, you could also use an extended work area model. Now check this out. This board is actually three feet long. Today, in your current laser, you would not be able to engrave this entire board, no matter how large your laser lens is. If you have a 300 or 400 millimeter lens, you're not going to be able to cover three feet. Matter of fact, if you wanted to engrave a board like this, you'd probably take it to you know, some type of gantry laser, a thunder, an epilogue, a, um, an Aeon laser, uh, uh, not even, a, uh, I'm trying to think about lasers within the X tool line, wouldn't support something that is this big. But you would need to take it to one of those very large lasers. And let's face it, the UV lasers create beautiful engraving, higher quality than most lasers that you'll find on the market. With this index table, you can have your UV laser engrave a three foot area which you could not do if you didn't have a product like this. This changes the game and breathes, again, new life into your laser, something that you could never do before. But you can if you get one of these. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.